हेलो एवरी वन सो यर इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव गिवन दी वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स एज लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस रूट ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर एंड वी हैव टू शो दैट द गिवन फंक्शन इज और फंक्शन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ऑर्ड फंक्शन सो ऑर्ड फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट वेर द कंडीशन दैट इज एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज सेटिस्फाइड सो वेन एवर वी गेट दिस कंडीशन दैट इज एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स इन ऑल दो केसेस वी से दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज ऑर्ड फंक्शन सो इट मीन्स हियर वी हैव टू शो दैट एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड वी सक्सेड टू शो दैट एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स देन ओनली वील से दैट येस दिस फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज ऑर्ड फंक्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस सो इफ यूल ऑब्जर्व दिस देन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड we have minus f of x out of that the value of f of x is already given in the question so we'll start with left hand side so in the left hand side we have f of minus x so let's find out the value of f of minus x so to find out value of f of minus x i will replace this x by minus x in f of x so i'll say replacing x by minus x, we will get f of minus x equal to log of minus x plus root of one plus minus x the whole square. Now by solving this, we'll get log of minus x plus root of one plus Now the square of minus x is x square, so x square as it is. So we got the value of f of minus x as log of minus x plus root of one plus x square. But if you see, then this is not at all equal to minus f of x because minus f of x will come out to be minus of log of x plus root of 1 plus x square and until and unless we are not getting this condition or we are not getting this value for f of minus x we cannot say that it is a odd function so to get this value for f of minus x here i will perform the process of rationalization because we can see root over here so by rationalization will try to bring this term as minus of log of x plus root of 1 plus x square and then we can say it is odd function so i'll say by rationalization this will become log of now minus x plus root of 1 plus x square as it is the conjugate of this is minus x minus root of 1 plus x square so i'm dividing by it and again i'll multiply with the same term that is minus x minus root of 1 plus x square so after that if you'll we'll solve the numerator then in numerator we can see one formula that is a plus b and a minus b because the both terms are same so we know that a plus b Into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So by applying this formula, here we'll get minus x that is our a, the whole square minus b. B is nothing but root of one plus x square. So square of this and whole divided by this denominator will remain same. That is minus x minus root of one plus x square. now by taking square we will get log of this will give us x square now root and square will be cancelled and here we'll get minus of 1 plus x square in the bracket denominator will remain same now if you'll see the numerator then because of this minus sign 
all the signs inside the bracket will change. So this will become log of x square minus 1 minus x square upon minus x minus root of 1 plus x square. So after that this x square and minus x will be cancelled and and in the next step we will get minus 1 upon minus x minus root of 1 plus x square. So therefore f of minus x is equal to log of minus 1 in the numerator and minus x minus root of 1 plus x square. Now if you will see here we can take minus sign common from denominator and here we will get log of minus 1 upon minus of x plus root of 1 plus x square. Next since numerator and denominator both are negative uh, we cancelled and we will get positive sign that is 1 upon x plus root of 1 plus x square. Now here we got the term log of 1 upon x plus root of 1 plus x square. So here I can apply the formula of logarithm. So in log we have one formula that is log of 1 upon x is equal to minus log x. So here this denominator term is our x. So we will get here minus of log of x plus root of 1 plus x square. And if you will observe then this term log of x plus root of 1 plus x square is our question which is f of x. So I can replace it by f of x. So that will become minus of f of x. Now if you will see then we got the condition that is f of minus x is equal to minus f of x and hence we can say f of x is odd function. Thank you.